Carlos is a good police, he's a good friend, he's a good brother. Ten years, a uh, little boy, and he say always, I want to police, I want to police. A mother in mourning after her son, an LAPD officer, is killed in a street robbery all over a gold chain. She says she can't fathom why someone would take a life over a $200 piece of jewelry. And now four people under arrest in connection with that killing. Good evening, Fox 11 News at 5. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Marla Teas here for Christine Devine. The LAPD and Sheriff's Office say they worked round the clock to track down the suspects and their investigation led to the arrests of four in connection with the shooting death of off-duty LAPD officer Fernando Arroyos. The 27-year-old, a three-year veteran of the force, was shot and killed Monday night while house hunting in South LA with his girlfriend. LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva announced the arrest today. The suspect's names have yet to be disclosed. Those arrests come just hours before a planned vigil outside the LAPD Olympic Division where Arroyo works. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez, she's live in Pico Union where that vigil is about to get underway. An emotional night, Christina. Yes, indeed. The chief, Chief Moore, is supposed to be here. Hopefully, we'll get a little more on those arrests. But I can tell you that after only working here three years, Officer Arroyos was already making his mark. You can see the flags are flying at half staff. You know, he was the son of Salvadorian immigrants. He graduated with honors from Berkeley. Harvard wanted him, but he wanted to stay and help the community he had grown up in. We talked to his mom today. Listen. You were supposed to be looking at the house with them? Usted se estuviera con ellos. Sí. That's right. The mother of LAPD officer Fernando Arroyos killed while checking out of a house for sale with his girlfriend on an off-duty night was supposed to be with them. Instead, she got a call summoning her to the hospital where the 27-year-old was taken after exchanging gunfire in an apparent robbery gone bad. Somebody say my son is dying this away. It's terrible for me. She lost her son after just losing her own mother. This, my heart is just broken because it's, a, you know, I tell it's, it's only one son. And I tell my mom is passed away one month ago. An altar sits in the corner of the small apartment where Membreno combs through photos and tells us this is where Fernando grew up. A little boy and he say always, I want to police, I want to police. Mm -hmm. He go to Berkeley, he graduation for honors and everything. But she say always, he say, I want to police and he's police. No one here can fathom why someone would shoot her son seemingly to rob him of the gold chain he was wearing around his neck. Say why? Because it's only for robbery one change. A chain is at $200 for $200. I take the life of my son. For $200, they take the life of my son, is what she says. By the way, the public is invited to the vigil tonight here at 6 o'clock. Um, we are hoping again that uh, LAPD Chief Moore will be here. Maybe we'll get some more details, but they're keeping very tight lift on the investigation on this thing. But if we find out more, we'll let you know at 6. I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Christina, thank you from that.